Learn more about Gel Tangle, the art of combining gel press printing and Zentangle, and fill up your mixed media art journal with me. Hey guys, it's Amber from NotableInk.com. Welcome back. The first Zentangle pattern I'm drawing is Bubbles by Lori Byerly, and I'll be using two patterns today. I'm using a Posca paint pen. This is an acrylic pen, and it's the 0.7 millimeter extra fine bullet nib. As always, I'll have all of the supplies linked in the description down below. If you are interested in how I created this gel press page, that was in my last video, and so I will link that in the end cards at the end of this video, and you can go back and watch that video to see how to create this page and the page on the right. When I created this gel press print, I used different sizes of bubble wrap to create faint circles in the pattern and in the texture. I'm using the acrylic pen to circle some of those areas. So I have really small ones like you can see there and larger ones um, from the larger bubble wrap that I used. Where the circles overlap, you just wanna thicken those corners. So I'm just rounding the corners, all four corners of where those bubbles overlap and that just gives it more character and more contrast on the page. For the next pattern, I'm gonna use Zafiro by Nani Nanaya. I'm sure that I'm not saying that right, so sorry for that. You start with this rounded triangle at the top, almost looks like a Hershey Kiss, sitting on top of a peanut butter cookie, um, a really small peanut butter cookie, almost like those bell cookies at Christmas. Then you're gonna bring down like a hook shape, and you're gonna mirror that hook shape on either side, and you kind of want them to get smaller as you get further back, and that's gonna create some three dimension to that. Then you're gonna top that with a parentheses. Um, it's kind of just a C shape here. And you want it to connect to that hook shape over there. After you get those connected and tidy up your lines, you'll add an aura along each one of those hook shapes that we made, and you'll connect that to that C curve. So you can see that little C curve there. I'm just gonna connect the aura to that C curve and it's gonna create these spines that look like they go underneath the kind of umbrella shape of the bottom bloom of this, I don't know, we'll call it a flower. It's definitely an organic Zentangle pattern. And then I'll just add a stem. I'll repeat this again, but if this video is going too fast, go ahead and change the settings in YouTube and slow the video down or speed it up as necessary to meet your needs. There are a few different approaches you can take when you gel tangle or when you're gel tangling. And for this one, I am paint, I am drawing all over the page. So sometimes I will leave a lot of white space on a painted drawing, whether that's watercolor or ink smushing or gel press printing. And I will only tangle in the white space. I won't tangle in the colored area. So I'll skip over those areas. So you'll see more like broken patterns you can also do the opposite where you tangle on the colored areas and you don't tangle on the white space. There were a few areas on the title page of this journal book where I only tangled in the white space, but maybe for one of my next videos, I'll focus on that tangling in just the white space and on the opposite page, we'll tangle in the colored area so you can see how that differs. I'll, I'll put that on my list of uh, the next videos to do. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already so that you don't miss that upcoming video. Now I have two different tangle patterns here and I wanna make sure that I don't just have the bubbles on the left and the Zafiro on the right. And so I'm gonna start crossing over with these patterns. I also decided I wanted a white one of these blooms in here. So I'm just gonna add that in and you can see that it totally disappears into our gel press print. And so I'm gonna to need to add some black acrylic pen to this to make it stand out. Here I've moved on to a thicker um, nib for the Posca pen for the white one because I wanted to add some white circles as well. You know, once I added in that white bloom, it looked a little out of place. And so I definitely needed to add white in other areas to create more of a cohesive design. So I'm just adding some rings here. I'm not going to thicken the areas where they overlap the other, um, the other bubbles that are in black. And for some of them, I'm just gonna fill it completely in. So now I wanna color in some of these spines. So on the black ones, I'm gonna use white. And then on the white one, I'm gonna use black to fill in the spine, the little kind of peanut butter cookie underneath the 
um, Hershey Kiss and then also the stem. This is going to help to separate this pattern from the background and give it a little more structure, more contrast, and it's going to be a lot easier to see it. But because I've tangled on the entire page, I'm also going to need to add quite a bit of shadow to these images in order to pop them up off the page and recess the background. For the shadows, I'm going to use Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 Crayon in black. These are wax crayons that are water soluble and they work great over top of acrylic and other mixed media. I zoomed in so you can see this better and I'm keeping the shadows really simple. For the most part, I'm putting that underneath where the Zafiro pattern or those blooms would cast a shadow. Um, if there's an overlap, I, I may put it there, but for the most part, I'm really just putting it underneath you guys. Um, you could go all out and also add shadow to each individual segment of those blooms. I decided not to. I really wanted to keep it simple. I think that there's enough to look at, whereas if you just keep it simple, pop them up off the page with some simple shadows, it's going to get the job done. For the highlights, I'm using turquoise green Neo Color 2 pencil. Normally I would use a white charcoal pencil, but because these bubbles are burnt sienna, I thought bringing that turquoise green in in another area here would add a nice highlight. And I only highlighted these three bubbles and that's it. I didn't go on to highlight anything else like I normally would. Again, just keeping it simple. I'm going to show you some close-ups in just a few seconds, but first let me show you a flip through of the book. These are the first two pages of my art journal and I did gel tangle here, but I hadn't thought of the name yet. So I will link that video at the end in case you missed it. You can go back and check that out. And look at all the texture on these prints. It is amazing, you guys. I absolutely love this gel tangle technique and all of the texture that's created. If you learned something new today and or you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe with notifications on down below. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you soon with more inspiration.